Laura here. We will start with questions on Zoom. So uh, Jacob, you can kick it off. Thank you. Uh, hi, Laura. Thanks for taking the time to chat with us. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Um, first off, just overall thoughts going into the first meeting uh, tomorrow against uh, Bay FC. Yeah, we're excited about it. I think um, coming to new cities is always interesting when it's the first time. Obviously, nice stadium. Expect a good at atmosphere. Yeah, so we're uh, we're excited to be here. Wish the and weather was I better, but. <laughs> After the after the San Diego game, you had shared that there had been an illness going around with the team. So just from a general health uh, point, how is everybody? Hopefully, the break uh, gave everyone a good uh, uh, time for everyone to just uh, be uh, to recover and be fully healthy. Yeah, we are. Um, we have got rid of the the uh, flu bug that we had going around, so that's positive. Um, and yeah, we're pretty much as close to full fitness as we could possibly be. Um, we just have one injury note uh, with Jordan. And then I asked uh, Lou this, uh, during the international break, Jess uh, had a, a milestone of 150 caps for Wales. And I know you can just speak, um, you know, write a book about all the nice things you could talk, uh, say about Jess. I was just wondering any comments about uh, her accomplishment for 150 caps. Yeah, I mean, it's a phenomenal achievement. Um, I think anyone getting that for any country is a fantastic milestone. I think the thing that I think about in regards to Jess's specifically is I would love to know the amount of miles she's travelled just to get to be at camp, to have done it whilst living on the opposite side of the world for as long as she has, I think makes it an even bigger achievement. Um, to have consistently been able to perform at that level um, and to be not only just have 150 caps but have be such a pillar of, of her team for as long as she's been and again whilst doing it playing thousands of miles away from from where her home country is I think makes it even more special um, and yeah, I thought, you know, what the Welsh national team did for her, the videos they did with her family and stuff were were amazing and um, she deserves all that recognition for sure. Awesome, thank you. Thanks, Jacob. And then Jada, go ahead. Thanks, <clears throat> thanks for your time. Um, kind of a little bit related uh, to Jacob's question is just that, so um, Jordan is the only one that came back with uh, an injury or how did everybody, the internationals, how did they come back as far as health wise? I mean, if we say health is without an injury, they all came back without an injury except for Jordan. Um, I just think they've traveled a very long way. Um, you know, the Welsh players flew Seattle to Wales, played in Wales, flew Wales to Kosovo. Look where that is on a map flew back from Kosovo to Wales and then Wales to Seattle and then Seattle to the Bay. So that is a lot of travel. Um, G went to South Korea and came back. So again, quite far. Um, and you, uh, you know, I, I will say this on here. I, I'm very, very glad we're not one of the teams playing on a Friday. I think that that is a ridiculous ask of our players in this league to play on a Friday after playing at internationals. So we are, that is the only injury we have, touch wood. Um, they, could, they were at training yesterday and did a little bit and they will be training today. And so the other part was just if that's going to um, play a factor in how you uh, play, line up or starting line up as far as uh, Sunday goes. Well, I don't want to give too many secrets away. Um, yeah. I think that for us, it's about seeing how they feel um often when it's these sort of travel games after internationals you have to make late decisions on that which we have done we've traveled everybody who's healthy to come to the bay so that we can have that opportunity to make last minute decisions which i think i honestly didn't know how else we could do pick the team if we didn't do that um <clears throat> so that's been good so we've got everybody here who's healthy to pick from. And like I said, we will we'll be making last minute decisions on 
whether it's best for people to start and come on or whether it's a bit best for people to come off the bench. Obviously, we don't just have the internationals coming back. We also have players coming back from injury and Veronica and Quinn and Alana who are still in a potentially minute management situation. So we've got to make decisions on a lot of people for tomorrow. Thanks, Jada. And then Susie? Thanks, Ryan. Hi, Laura. I was hoping you could just share a little bit more about the nature of Jordan's injury coming back from international duty. Um, we don't know too much yet. I think um, it's you could see in the game, it, she was saying on the field it was her back. She could feel something in her back. Um, and that's the extent of what we know, really. Um, but we... Uh, we're doing everything we can for her and getting as much information as possible. Um, and Jordan's a tough kid. You know, I think I knew knowing her that when she got up, tried to play on and then went back down again, I, I knew it wasn't going to be great because uh, she is a very, very tough kid. Um, and to come out of a game when you play for Canada against the US in a final, um, it takes a lot. Thank you for that. Uh, a very unrelated follow-up, but you mentioned earlier this week um, just wanting to correct some um, defensive lapses that the team has seen in the last two games. But I'm also wondering what more you would like to see and what the team has been focused on on the offensive side to um, potentially create some more chances against BFC. Yeah, I think obviously against Washington, that was what we want, you know, the game against Washington, if I could write a script of, of how we want to play, that was close to it. Um, so if you want a blueprint, that's it. Um, creating opportunities, making it really hard for the opponent to stop all the things that we can do. I think we're renowned over the last couple of years for being a crossing team. We've scored a lot of goals from that. We've created a lot of opportunities from that. I think we can still have that as a weapon for our attacking opportunities. But I think with the players that we've brought in and the players that we have here, we also have other ways that we can score goals. Um, and I think we showed that against Washington with some of the chances that we created. Um, so I think that that's the blueprint, is sort of meshing what you saw in Washington, the second half against Chicago, and honestly, against San Diego, I thought we got ourselves in a really good positions to cross. And we either chose not to cross or we crossed and they, we didn't have the runs to, to attack the cross. So I think we've just been talking about how we can sort of mesh all of those things together. Thanks, Susie. And then any other questions? All right. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Laura.